seven minutes past seven. And we're talking about this as our lead story today. More people are showing an interest in the housing market. Well, that's according to a number of Swindon estate agents we've spoken to. And that backs up new figures from the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors this morning. They claim inquiries from new buyers increased notably last month, yet sales between December and February remained at their lowest level in at least 31 years. Count them, 31 years. So inquiries in that case, not necessarily translating into sales. It's a buyer's market, of course. But if you are looking to sell, what impact has the fall in prices had on your particular type of property, I wonder? Well, to talk about those figures and all of that as well, uh, we can speak to Christian Slade. Christian's from uh, CB Slade, uh, Slade Estate Agents. Get it out in, uh, in Creek Lane. Uh, morning to you, Christian. Good morning, Chris. Uh, before we just talk about the fact that, uh, well, the suggestion that more people are coming through your doors and inquiries are being made, let's just talk a little bit about the kind of properties that are being sold or are on the market in Swindon and what impact the falling prices have had on each of those properties. Can we just do that first? Yeah, sure. Uh, I thought that would be a good thing to do. So let's just give some examples. So first of all, let's talk about new builds. We hear a lot about how they have been impacted more than most in terms of a fall in prices. Well, I think that's right. I think Swindon's quite unique um, in, in the sense that we've got a lot of new builds up in the north part. Uh, Priory Vale's obviously, you know, it was a very big expansion plan. Um, and when it's... It, it's a basic sale thing. It's supply and demand. We've got a bit of oversupply up there, and obviously we had a lot less demand last year, which left a lot of builders leaving their plot. Also, with the builders, they're able to cut the prices more in order to attract the, the people in. So, I mean, new builds, you can see 30 35% off their peak price uh, of, of 18 months ago, two years ago. I think the real people that that impacts on is the people that are trying to resell those properties. Um, we've got some fantastic properties. We've got one over in Hayden Wick at the moment. Um, and he's, you know, it's better than the new ones that are being built. It's cheaper than the new ones being built. But how do you compete with the big budget of the of the builders? That's it, isn't it? And uh, all right, so some of the older properties, maybe some of the more Victorian properties in the centre of town, what are we talking about there? Well, I think generally on the resale market, I think it's widely acknowledged that we've had about a 20, 25% drop. Um, what, no matter what the type of property is. I think what I found quite interesting looking last night was there's over a thousand properties on the market in, in Swindon at the moment. I thought it'd be interesting to see what percentage of those are selling. If you look at terrace properties within Swindon, 33% of all terrace properties that are on the market are under offer. Mm. If you look at flats, only 13% of all flats that are on the market are under offer. Really? So clearly, Big those, difference. Yeah, exactly. And clearly those terrace properties are the ones that uh, are most in demand at the moment. But that doesn't necessarily tell us how long they've been on the market for, I suppose. No, it doesn't. I'd need more than a night for that <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, I understand. Um, and uh, so we're talking flats. That, that's that obviously, and, and in terms of value, let's just get on to flats as well, in terms of value lost over that period of time as well. Well, in terms of value lost, flats should, it should be the same as, as the houses. I think what the, the problem is... There's not the a demand. distinction, you don't think. I think that they're, they're not selling as well. So clearly there is a distinction, mm. but it's hard to measure because until the flats drop to the level where we start seeing 33% of all flats under offer, then we'll be able to make that distinction. Okay. Uh, let's just talk about these uh, figures this morning then. And certainly uh, we heard earlier on in the program, I was talking to a number of uh, estate agents in Swindon who effectively agreed with these figures out this morning from the well-respected, let's not forget, the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors because there is a temptation sometimes. We have all of these housing figures coming in constantly uh, to do this all the time. You could do it every day if you wanted to. Uh, but really, I think this is one of the, the, the key barometers. They're very well respected group, obviously. Um, and they are suggesting that more people are coming through the doors, more people are making inquiries about uh, homes, but that that's not necessarily translating into sales. Does that uh, kind of represent the experience you're having at the moment? Well, I think there's a few issues there. And I'll firstly, you know, back up what you say about the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors. I mean, my inbox is full every day from different news stories from different uh, so-called property experts, where, where clearly the, Ch the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors are indeed property experts. Um, they're quite right. The number of inquiries is up. You know, we're noticing it ourselves. A lot of estate agents I know are noticing the same thing. Um, 
we're a small agency, as you know, we set up in September. And so our data is quite hard to hard to manage. I mean, we are hugely up on where we were before Christmas. Is that just because we're growing as an agency? Uh, but quite possibly. But we I mean, we've, we've achieved more sales in the last three, four weeks than we have done in the, you know, the three, four months mm. that we were open before Christmas. So we are noticing more sales as well as more activity. But I think if you look at someone like Rightmove, they're saying a similar thing. Lots more properties coming up onto the website, but um, not necessarily more going under offer. Yeah, that's the point, isn't it? And um, I, I suppose it's a situation where, having spoken to a number of estate agents yesterday in Swindon, and a number of them saying, well, people are getting in on the market for, as an investment because they don't want to leave their money. And that's if they've got the money. I mean, you've obviously got to have the money to be able to make an investment like that in the first place. It's not necessarily people who are moving because of a necessity or indeed people getting onto the housing ladder for the first time, new uh, buyers, first time buyers, uh, because clearly the credit's still not there. If you want to get a mortgage, it's still fairly difficult and you have to front up a huge deposit. I think it is fairly difficult, but it is getting easier. And we're based in a, in a large company called Financial Associates, who are, uh, you know, financial advisors, and they they will help people find a mortgage. And you, there is a mortgage for most people at the moment. Um, I heard, you know, Richard saying in in the news item that there were more investment uh, investor buyers coming back, and I do agree with that. But I don't think it's necessarily just investors. I think it's people who are off the property market for whatever reason. I spent Sunday afternoon with a lovely couple. We were looking around a couple of houses in Quicklave. Their first Time buyers, they're you know they're in their late 30s, early 40s, and they're perceiving now is the time to make the first time mm. buy. I was with a young first time buyer Saturday morning, uh, who's coming back to have another look at our property on on Wednesday lunchtime, and again he's he's looking to make that move back into the property market. Um, so it's not just necessarily investors. Yes, uh, I mean you're an estate agent. You talk a good game. You've only been doing it since September. You picked it up very quickly, uh, Christian. There's no doubt about that. Uh, and of course, you know estate agents are going to want to talk the market up, aren't they? And it's our job to reflect what estate agents are saying, what everybody else is saying. I just read a man called uh, Martin Ellis. What he was saying uh, last week. He's the chief economist at H Boss. Uh, he says continuing pressures on incomes, rising unemployment, the negative impacts of the dislocation of the financial markets on the availability of mortgage finance are likely to mean that 2009 will be another difficult year for the housing market. Uh, we're not out of the woods yet. I was reading a number of things in the broadsheets over the weekend. Some people, fairly eminent people, saying there could be another 10% to go, there could be another 15% to go in house prices. What's your view? Uh, I think you're right. I think it's easy to kid ourselves that you know we're we're having a particularly good run at the moment. But the you know, I said there was over a thousand properties on the market in Swindon, and and somewhere around thirty of those are ours at the moment. So our our data is quite small in in comparison. So it is easy to get ahead of ourselves. I think you're right. I think you know we're not out of the woods yet. It is going to be a very tough year for all the reasons you mentioned. A lot of people are unfortunately finding the job market's very tough at the moment, and a lot of the sales that are coming through are forced sales. Um, I think we're going to see a bit of stability this year. Certainly, I hope we do. We're not going to see the prices bounce back overnight, but we're just going to see more people coming to the market, which is what we're seeing at the moment. People who have stepped off the market coming back in. Um, and yeah, I think we're realistic about what it is, but you're quite right. We like to talk to talk a good talk. And I was here in September having just opened, telling you how busy we were. And um, But we are realistic as well. Yeah, I remember when you came in in September. We kind of featured it as a story because everyone was going, you are. You're well, starting an estate agent <laughs> in the middle of September, in the middle of all this. But um, glad to see, you know, it's also our role to, you know, to, to, to reflect when businesses are doing well as well. So we're, we're pleased you're doing well, Christian. Thank you. Uh, Christian Slade from a CB Slade Estate Agents in Crickley. Uh, just reflecting on those figures this morning, backed up by a number of estate agents in Swindon, suggesting more and more people are inquiring about the housing market, but not necessarily buying 715.